Oh, what's going on? Shout out to all the people who bought training and shout out to all the people who support the channel. Today, I was on the internet and I came across the legitimate, in my opinion, the only legitimate crypto billionaire, Sam Bankman Freed, who lost 94% of his wealth in one day. Here's the story. With the overall crash of the crypto market, he went from 22 billion to 15 billion recently. And then with the collapse of his crypto exchange, FTX, he went from 15 billion to argumentably 1 billion to 800 million. So, by any stretch of the imagination, he is still fantastically wealthy. He's not going to be going clipping coupons anytime soon. However, as with my earlier video, there has been a lot that's been going on in the crypto markets. There is one guy, Carl Renfield, who claimed to be a billionaire from crypto. Yet, once again, in my opinion, the legitimate crypto billionaire, Sam Bankman Freed, is at the moment probably not a billionaire. And this guy had verifiable wealth, whereas Carl, eh, it's not verifiable. I don't care what he shows you, but this should be a lesson to everyone who <clears throat> aspires to get wealthy through cryptocurrency. Um, it's not durable. Mark Zuckerberg lost even more money from the plunging of his Facebook stocks. However, the fortunes of the crypto millionaires are currently in jeopardy. And Lucky Lopez at Automotive Life has talked about the number of these people who had to turn in their exotic cars or sell them because they can no longer afford them. This is what I've been saying. And this is my thesis. If you're an average American making thirty to forty thousand dollars a year, you would be better served by starting a small business than investing in the stock market or investing in cryptocurrency. Now, if you diligently and consistently invest in the stock market over a period of 30 to 50 years, you can become rich. It's possible. But the reality is the average person doesn't have enough disposable income to become wealthy.